Well, now, imagine being imprisoned for life, having the evidence to show you're innocent, but being refused the chance to prove it. That's exactly how the law is in Australia at the moment. How many such cases exist? We have no way of knowing because no one is looking. Well, South Australian Parliament has the chance to lead the nation by following the UK in creating a Criminal Cases Review Commission to inquire into possible wrongful convictions. And among a number of influential groups, the Australian lawyers Alliance support the move. Tony Kerens, the South Australian President, I spoke with him a short time ago. Well, Tony, thank you very much for coming in. First up, look, what exactly is a Criminal Cases Review Commission and why do we need one? The Review Commission will be a body which will uh, give you an opportunity to have your case examined where things happen at a later date, where there's some evidence that needs to be reviewed which has come about after the appeal process or the process you've been a part of has ceased or finished. Uh, why do we need one? Because courts make mistakes. Uh, you don't have to look too far in modern history and indeed today you'll see the West Australian Government has awarded compensation to um, a Mr Beamish who has, was incarcerated for uh, all the wrong reasons at the end of the day. So if someone is wrongly convicted without such a body, what, what can they do? Not a lot. Uh, at the moment you have um, an inflexible process in South Australia in particular where you need to petition the Government, uh, the Attorney General. It's completely discretionary and if for some reason uh, they don't see fit to grant that uh, further review of the case, then uh, it doesn't happen. I think the last successful one in South Australia was in the early 80s, so uh, it doesn't happen a lot. No, so this is of course once all the regular appeal processes have been exhausted. You have your trial, you have a, uh, an appeal and um, you can go to the High Court as well. Uh, and once that's finished, um, uh, then uh, you're, that, that's the end of the legal process. So if we're begging the Attorney General, like you say, you know, we do risk of politics being interfered with, you know, when it should be a matter of criminal justice. Well, I'm raising nothing new to say that throughout Australia in the last decade, the law and order policy has been rampant. Um, and that would affect, in my view, a number of decisions that governments make about legislation uh, and, and issues. So you can remove that aspect by putting it before an independent body like, a, like the Commission we're talking about. What about the High Court? Is that of any help? The High Court um, generally will not admit new evidence and it's reasonably inflexible about that. Um, it is very difficult to get new material before them. Um, and so it's not the, uh, the answer for the, the issue that confronts people who are wrongly jailed. So you're saying that there are innocent people in Australian jails who simply can't have their case reviewed? Absolutely. You don't, again, you don't have to look too far. In Western Australia there are a number of examples. In Queensland there's some examples as well. Um, it's not something that's foreign to the press and, and to the public. Uh, people read about these cases all the time. Well, so the UK has of course adopted, adopted the system. That's some time ago now. What percentage of cases that have been referred have, have been quashed? About 70% of those cases referred back to the Court of Appeal, which the Review Commission in the UK has found to be uh, questionable, have been uh, uh, resulted in acquittals. So it can be seen it does useful work, and I think that's in a period of about 15 years or so. So there's certainly a need for it um, in the UK, and I think we'd be kidding ourselves if we thought there wasn't a similar need for it in Australia. And in the UK cases, Tony, weren't there acquittals after there were executions? Yes, that is a great tragedy because in four of those cases people had been hung many years ago and it seems somewhat academic to clear their name, although that stands for something, uh, it's not very practical is it? So it would have been far better if, um, if they had the uh, opportunity of being released from custody. If, if someone's wrongly convicted they've got absolutely nowhere to turn, is this just not a basic breach of human rights? Um, you could argue that strongly and there is a potential for us to be in breach of our uh, international obligations as well under some covenants. Um, but it gets back to basic justice. If you, if you can complain, if you can produce some material that is um, independent and needs to be looked at, uh, then you should have a right to have your case reviewed. Yeah, it's uh, certainly in everyone's interest, isn't it? Although it is unusual to have lawyers finding fault in the system. Um, uh, lawyers are not infallible and uh, neither are judges. The system's not infallible. It, it's a great system and uh, all the rest of it, but it does make mistakes. And there are so many examples of it throughout Australia now. Uh, we've certainly seen some, haven't we? What will your alliance be doing to progress this? Uh, we'll certainly be uh, assisting uh, Ian Bressington with her bill. Um, it's currently before a legislative review committee, I think, or about to be, and, um, and the Law Society, I think, to have an interest in the matter. So we'll be watching it very closely. Uh, to ensure that this body gets a thorough hearing and all the arguments for and against uh, are, uh, 
uh, accurately debated. Well, best of luck with your efforts, Tony. Thank you very much for coming in again. Thank you.